It's one of my all-time favorite sides to order when I go out for Chinese, but it's also incredibly easy to make at home. We're making a classic garlic fried green bean that everyone's gonna love, so let's get started. This recipe is about as quick and easy as it gets for something that you're not just tossing into the microwave. So once you try this once, you might find yourself doing it all the time. I mean, just a few simple ingredients here, starting with a pound of fresh green beans, and these are nice and young still. As they get older, they'll get kind of fibrous and have a large bean inside of there. And that'll work for this recipe, but these younger ones are definitely better. I've also got some fresh garlic, and you can really use as much as you want here because this is the main flavor of the dish, so get loose with your garlic use. I've got a little oil for cooking and some salt, and that's all it takes, but since I'm not sharing today, I'm going to throw in a handful of these really hot red chilies too. Now I've got my green beans washed and patted dry, and now I'm just going to cut the stems off of the ends here. You can cut these in half again too, but I really like the way they look when I cook them whole. And now, to get my garlic ready, I'll give it a good solid pop. And then I'm just going to mince that down into not super fine, but a nice mince. And now, I'm just going to chop these chilies up a little bit so I can kind of spread the love. Alright, let's get this started. And it's going to come together pretty quick. This whole dish can be ready in probably under 15 minutes if you're not trying to shoot a YouTube video. I'll start out with a couple of tablespoons of oil. It's a high temp oil. I'm using canola here. You just want to make sure it's something that's not going to burn up on you like your extra virgin olive oil or say a sesame oil so get a nice high temp oil because we're going to be running pretty high heat on this dish now we'll get that heated up to about a medium high heat and then drop those beans now the oil is getting nice and hot it's shimmery maybe a, just a wisp of smoke coming off of there and you can always test by just flopping one of these down and you should get an instant sizzle and that looks good so we'll leave that in there and bring in the rest of those beans now we're not deep frying these you see but you do want to have enough oil to coat all the beans so they can get nice and toasty all the way around so now we're going to continue to saute these over medium high heat until they get a nice blistery outside. And that should take six or seven minutes. As long as you're getting a nice sizzle coming out of there the whole time, and you're smelling a nice roasty smell and not like a burned or smoky smell, then you're right in the zone with this dish. Keep it up. And what we're looking for is a nice blister just like this on all or most of the beans. been just over six minutes I got good blistering and then a little bit of nice color on my beans and now it's time to get that garlic in there because that's not gonna need to cook very long there's chili and a nice pinch of salt Woo! the smell in here just went crazy and now you just want to saute this until that garlic gets a little bit toasty and a little bit crispy Just about there, the garlic's starting to get some color. Want a little bit more color. That's really under two minutes and that garlic's ready to go. All right, that looks like we're there. I'll just give this a good toss and take it to the plate. get in there grab a nice green bean it's got plenty of garlic and then maybe a piece of that red pepper too 
Oh yeah, that looks good. Smells good too. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm, it's just perfect. The green beans got that nice blistery crust from the fry, but they're still just a little crunch in the middle, just how they ought to be. The garlic flavor, it's huge, but it's not really gonna blow your face off because we sauteed it like that. And it's got a nice little crispy finish to it. And that chili pepper, that'll kick you right in the face. So I love it, but that is totally optional. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely fantastic. And it was so easy to make. Hmm. Well, I really hope you try this one, and I know you're gonna love it. Thanks for watching.